At the southernmost tip of the United States, dancing less than 100 miles above Cuba and alongside the Florida Straits, lie a string of tropical islands. These lush islands, known as the Florida Keys, cut a swath between the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico and provide sanctuary for thousands of species of botanical and animal life. This archipelago originally lay beneath the ocean's surface, providing a home to giant coral reefs some two to three million years ago. For reasons unknown today, approximately 100,000 years ago, the Earth's temperature shifted, leading to the formation of polar ice caps. As these ice caps developed, they drew water from the Earth's oceans, causing water levels to fall and the reefs to become exposed, killing the coral that once thrived there. These exposed reefs expanded in size as water levels fell further, forming what we know today as the Florida Keys. As the human population of the islands burgeoned, so did the threat to much of the wildlife of the Keys. One species whose existence was particularly threatened was that of the key deer. It is believed the species migrated from the mainland across a land bridge. The key deer easily swim between the islands of the Keys, and because they live in such close proximity to humans, they do not have an instinctive fear of people as do their mainland counterparts. Tragically, this works to the detriment of the species. Without that natural fear, the deer are more comfortable grazing along roads and highways, and this has led to a mortality rate near 70% due to roadway collisions. Despite a ban on hunting key deer that was enacted in 1939, the population of the deer continued to plunge until reaching near extinction in the 1950s due to poaching and various threats to their habitat. In an attempt to stave off the impending elimination of the species, the National Key Deer Refuge was established in 1957. The refuge consists of close to 85,000 acres within the Lower Keys and has brought the key deer population stability, although the species remains endangered. Today's estimates put the deer's population at approximately 800, a great improvement over their low of about 27 in 1957. Key deer have proven to be very adaptable, acclimating themselves to almost every type of habitat within their range. However, the deer continue to be pushed out by the ever-increasing human population and development. 